Okay, so welcome to my fruit experiment, and um, let me kind of share what I have here with you. I've got a modeling light here off to my right. I've got my uh, 540, Pentax 540 flash with a diffuser on the front, uh, a knife, and a cutting board. I've got some light bulbs, and I'll show you what I'm going to use for those in Photoshop. I've got an avocado and some assortment of fruit. I've got bananas, I've got tangerines, and a papaya, no, a pomegranate. Reminds me of my dad. He used to eat these every once in a while when we were kids, and we thought, yuck, they are good. <clears throat> so I've got pocket wizards, one on my camera and one on my flash. Um, use a nice lens. I'm not using my... 7200 today, but I'm using my next favorite, which is my uh, 2875, and I really like that. So, um, you know, and again, you're, you know, use your, your, your SB, well, SB would be Nikon, but your, your Pentax 540, and I like that. It's a good flash. And so I got my setup here. I don't need my, I don't need my light bulbs in this picture, but I'm going to take a picture of the light bulb when I'm done here. I need to cut this open, so just kind of bear with me while I cut open my avocado. Okay, here we go. Okay, so now I'm going to take a picture of my avocado, and it's kind of a kind of an old avocado, so it's not going to be as good as if I had it a little more fresh, but hey, that's okay. We're going to eat it tomorrow anyway. So what I'll do is I'll turn on my pocket wizards, make sure I'm on the same channel. I'm channel one here, turn on my flash, and I'm going to start with my flash on, I'm going to put it to manual, and I'm going to start it at, we're going to try 1 16th power first, and I'm pointing it right at the avocado. And I'm going to turn on my pocket wizard here, take a test shot and see what it looks like. Put my camera in manual mode. And we'll take a shot. And not bad. So I've got this set in manual at 1 80th of a second. And I'm going to try F7, or let's try 7.1, F7.1, and see what happens. Why am I trying 7.1? You have to start someplace. And um, just, again, I'm going to see how much of the fruit I can get in here. And we'll, we'll take a shot. And F7 looks pretty good. I may dial it down uh, to... F63, we'll see a, a third of a stop. Okay, too bright, so I'm going to need to go the other way and try 8, F8. That's looking pretty good, F8. So, so I have that part of my shot taken, okay? Um, I'm going to now insert one of the light bulbs in the place of the avocado, and I need to try to place it in the same spot, so when I go into Photoshop, you'll see what I'm trying to do. Okay, so I'm going to put the, uh, I'm going to put the light bulb right there, okay, try to keep it there, perfect, and I'm going to take another shot, and I'll start at F8. pretty good. I'm going to dial it down to F7-1. And one more time, uh, F6. And F7-1 is too bright, but try F6-3. That's going to be really blown out, I'm sure. So, I have what I think I want, and now I'm going to go into Photoshop and merge the two together, okay? And, uh, and then make myself a, sh a little ad on the vegetables. Stay tuned. Okay, so after 
taking those shots, I chose this shot of the light bulb, and I chose this shot of the avocado. So I'm going to bring the avocado because I'm thinking the exposure uh, is a little better in this shot than the avocado. So I'm just going to grab this avocado and drag it to the other shot. To do that, I'm going to grab the quick selection tool. And since it's a pretty uh, clear background, I'm just going to, or the contrast between the avocado and the background is pretty apparent. I can grab that fairly easily. If I need to, I can zoom in and grab these areas that I was unable to the first time around. Come in here, it does a really nice job. Let's work our way around this to see if we have everything we need. So we come in here and I'll do the rest of this offline so you don't have to see me grab all of this. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out. And now what I can do is just, uh, I'm going to grab my move tool, go ahead and grab the avocado, drag it up here, and I'm just going to hold down until my other shot appears. I'm just going to come down here and drag it on top of. And notice it takes the entire light bulb, which is pretty darn good. I, I like that. I'm going to open up my layers. So it worked out pretty darn good. And see if I turn off the layer, you, you see the light bulb behind. And what I need to do here is I need to take out the light bulb and I'm going to put the avocado in its place or actually mask the avocado out. So if I come in here and I can grab that right in there and I'm going to widen this a little bit so you can see, but I want to mask this part out. I grab my mask tool located right here. Uh, checking my my uh, black to white let's see i'm going to hit the x and my defaults grab my brush tool and just start to paint this out right here make sure that i'm on the layer brush and start to paint this out I can bring this back in. If I grab too much, that's fine. I can paint it back in by just changing the colors. I'm going to zoom in so I can really see what I'm doing right in here. And paint this back right in here. And I may need to shrink the avocado a little bit. We'll see. See how it turns out. zoom out control zero and you can notice this starting to look like the light bulb but what I will do now is I will uh, I'll make this a little smaller and I'm going to transform that down a little smaller so it seems like it fits and I may have to skew this as well we'll see except that I'm going to transform and probably play with some perspective here and maybe even have to skew. We'll see what happens here. Grab this. There we go. So, oops. We're going to do that last one. That's looking pretty darn good. Except that I'm going to come back in here to my mask, to my brush tool, zoom back in so I can straighten this area out of here. And come right in here and bring that back in. A little too much, so I just take the white and paint that back out. And I'm going to do the rest of this offline so you don't have to watch me, but you get the idea. So I'm going to pause this. Okay, so I have it like I want it, but if you notice right in this area right here it's still showing the light bulb so what I would do here would be to make sure that I'm on this layer and I'm going to copy this layer control J and I just want to get rid of that I'm going to steal some of this color in here so I'll go over to the clone stamp tool 
come in here, alt click, and just start to take out some of the light bulb right in here. So it looks like, and if I click right here and go alt click, I come right over here on this line, it's gonna match up perfectly, and I can take that out. If I zoom out, and there you have it. Um, one of the things that I probably would have done, but I didn't have time, was lay the avocado f uh, more uh, flat. So you, you notice it's kind of laying on its side a little bit. Uh, and then maybe even bring it in here for the final result. But pretty cool technique. I'm going to add some text and show you what I come up with. Okay, so I put my text in. Uh, something cornball like it's a bright idea to eat your fruits and vegetables. I've got a little speck here that I had on my counter, so I'm going to zoom into that, take that out, and just come in here to the clone stamp tool again. If I come in here and click on that layer, I'm going to go Alt right in here and just click right over the top. Have that disappear, zoom back out, and there I have it. My ad for the lunch lady. Hope you enjoyed and have a great day.